and welcome back to another episode of Zawa Survival. We are now on episode 15, and I hope you've all had an incredible Christmas and a happy new year. So, let's jump into the video. To start this episode off, we have a really important matter to attend to, and, oh, it's raining. And this is, if any of you have looked at the channel page, you'll have noticed that finally, Finally, we've reached 100 subscribers, which is a huge achievement which I couldn't have got to without the help of all of you watching this video. To recognise the achievement, I think we should build a monument in the zoo to recognise what we've achieved. And I think we're going to put it right here. So, straight into the video, let's just jump into a time lapse. Let's go! monument has turned out quite well and I really like the shape of it and how it's turned out in general I just think it looks really good so for this episode I'm giving every single one of you a challenge all of you that are watching and that is on average on each video we've been getting about five subscribers so I think we can double that easy let's try and get 10 subscribers in this one episode I think we can do it so if you see that red sub button below, go hit it and make it grey. It always helps out and I always appreciate it. So, let's get back on with the episode, because we've still got an absolute ton of stuff to do, a ton of stuff that I've already done, so I think we should probably just dive straight into it. So, the main project for this episode is to basically finish off the aquatic area. We've still got so much to do, and not much time to actually do it, since the server's going to restart in February. So, some of the things that we need to do is such as the dolphin enclosure, the tiger shark tank, round here we've got the octopus tank as well, and over there we've got the Amazon river dolphin one, all of which we haven't finished yet, so I think they should be our priorities. However, the other big project we've got going on here, just round this corner, so I'm just going to show you. In here is one of the biggest projects I've done in this zoo yet. It's taken me actually hours to dig all this out. It's been an absolutely huge task. I've had to repair my pickaxe like tons and tons of times. And it's taken absolutely ages. So this is going to be the Great White Shark and Mixed Fish exhibit. So all of this is going to be filled up with water. And we're going to have the fish and corals and sharks all in here together. Which I think will look really, really cool. But what we do have to do first is cover the ground in a mixture of sand gravel and then I'm also thinking we'll have it piling up in the corners and some like spires and things hanging down from the ceiling as well which I think will look super super cool and we'll also make it link up to here so everything will just be one huge tank so I think we should probably just jump into another time lapse I know we've already done one today but I think there'll be plenty of other time lapses as well so I think we should probably just get going let's go <laughs> So, now that it's all nice and pretty, and we've got all the sand in, I think we should probably put in what makes an underwater exhibit an underwater exhibit. And I'm pretty sure that's the water. So I think the water's next on the agenda. So I think we'll just hop back into that time lapse, and fill it all up with water. This is going to take me ages. 
So wish me luck. Okay, let's get back and do it. So, after that good time lapse, this is what it's looking like. It's all filled up with water, everything on the back is all done, all the lights are in to keep it nice and lit up, plus I've also started putting the kelp in as well, just to fill it up a bit before we start putting the coral in. And talking about coral, I've actually started putting coral in just on this small section, just to see what it's going to look like, and I think it's looking really good. So I think we'll probably just keep the flow going, hop straight back into the time lapse, and put this in all of here. I almost went insane filling this up with water, and I might do it again. So, let's keep the flow going and get back into the time lapse. Let's go! <laughs> we're back and I think this area just looks absolutely incredible. I've said before that coral just brings so much life and colour to all the underwater exhibits which we've built so far and you know what will give it a bit more life? Some animals, some fish and sharks. That's exactly what I've got in here. I've got all these different kinds of fish. I've got some great white sharks which I'm hoping to put in here as well. So I think we should probably just put them in. We're not going to go into a time lapse because we've already had quite a few of them today. So, I think we might just do, I'm not even sure how to name this, a fish putting in montage? Okay, let's just get into a montage of me putting the fish in. So, let's go! Salmon. Marine tang. Bluefish. Chichillids. Pufferfish. Clownfish. Sharks. Another shark. And a third shark. So, I've just been looking at this for like 10 minutes now, and I think it's amazing what we've managed to do. It's got all the fish in, and all the sharks. The sharks and fish are really good, and the way this has been dug out, so that they can swim across the top, it's actually really quite magical when you just see them swim slowly above really amazing all the corals in it just looks so nice but for now i think this is a wrap on this project i think this has turned out really really well so i think we can go on to the next thing oh you can just see them swimming above there yeah that's what i'm talking about how it's really cool now I think what I want to do next is the octopus exhibit, since it's nice and small like the other ones over there, and I just really enjoy putting them in. So I think that's what we're going to do, we're just going to do a nice, small, detailed octopus enclosure. Let's just get this done. Won't do a time lapse because we're going to have plenty of other time lapses, so let's just cut to when it's finished. So this was actually quite a nice thing to build, just a small, detailed thing which I could really put a bit of thought into. Quite nice being able to do it off camera. So I think this has turned out quite well. You can see the octopuses back there. So I think let's move on to the next one. Now for this area, I've actually got a door in here, which leads through into this area. But in here, I'm thinking I'm gonna have some benches and some potted plants, just to give some people to sit halfway round here. I think I'm probably gonna do it in the style of the entrance way, which we've got the entrance for the zoo. So I think we'll probably put a couple of potted plants in here some benches, and then we're also going to put another couple of potted plants in here as well. All in all, I think, all in all, I think it'll look quite nice. So let me just go get the stuff. Now, these are all the blocks that I've got. So I think we'll probably just start placing them down and see how things go. Might take a couple of attempts, but I'll be back when it's done. And 
and we're back and this is what we've got now we've got some plants a bench even got this small aquarium which i've just built got a couple of brightly colored chitillids in it i think this has come out quite nicely again another plant these plants are just amazing so i think the next thing we're going to work on well we've actually got three more things we've got to work on if we go around here we've got these two the tiger shark exhibit and the dolphin exhibit We've got those two to work on, and also if we come around this corner, and the third one is this one, and this is going to be the Amazon River Dolphins, which is kind of the odd one out in all this, because these are all sea creatures, they're all in the oceans and things like that, but this one is in the river, the Amazon River. Well, it's kind of in the name, the Amazon River Dolphin. So I think we're going to try and make this look quite mangrovey, it's going to be quite a lot of mud, some mangrove trees, just make it kind of tight with all the mangrove plants coming down. So I think that's what we're going to do. With these three exhibits, I think we'll probably just jump into a time lapse. So we'll do this one in the time lapse, then we'll have a break, and then we'll do the other two in the time lapse. Okay, so I think we'll probably just jump straight into it. Let's go! <laughs> what the Amazon River Dolphin tank looks like now. I think it's turned out pretty good. We've got two dolphins in here and if you look in you can see and you might have seen in the time lapse that there's quite a lot of different types of dirt, coarse dirt, sandy dirt, loamy dirt, all those things plus a lot of mud as well. And we've got the mangrove roots as well which I really just think brings a whole lot of depth and detail to the area which I really like about it. So yeah this is meant to imitate the Amazon River which I think it's done pretty well. Lots of green, small plants, some kelp as well. I think we've done a good job on this. Now, I think there's only two more things that we need to do here. So, let's go over and see what we can do about those. Now, with these two, these are the final ones. I'm thinking that we'll probably do the dolphin one first. And this, I think the water level is only going to go up to about this level. Just so that they can jump out and swim above on the surface for a bit. And we're also going to have a bit of an island sort of thing at the side. Just a small thing that'll only go block above the water, but just something that's just sort of there. And we'll have the land slope down. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to have all this open area around the edge for them to swim properly in. Okay, so I think I'll get the blocks and we can jump into another time lapse. But before we do that, I think I'll explain this so we can do both of them in the one time lapse. With this, I think we're going to do it a bit like the Amazon River Dolphin enclosure. But it's going to have a bit more stone and rocks in and be a bit of like half-half between that other shark enclosure that we did and the Amazon River Dolphin one. Something a bit in the middle. So it'll be quite dirty but at the same time sandy. So I think that's what we're going to do. There'll be no surface to it. Water will be all the way up to the top. Which I think will look good. So I think let's just jump into a time lapse and get these two tanks finished. What do you say? Let's go! <laughs> how it's turned out. We've got the tiger sharks in here, we've got three of them all playing around. So I think this tank has turned out really well. With the dolphins, again, it's turned out really nicely. You can see why I've left a gap at the top, because they always like swimming at the top of the tank as well. So that's what we've done. We're also going to put a couple more dolphins in the other outdoor tank as well. 
that I think will look really nice. So, with all that, I think this area is done. And I've even made some banner signs for it. So, let's have a look around at what we've actually done. We have the coconut crabs. We have all the mixed fish. We've got even sea turtles. We have salmon. Moray eels. Puffer fish. Marine tang. Chichilids. Clownfish. Orcas. Amazon river dolphins. And even a mixture of fish and great white sharks. Octopus. Tiger sharks. And dolphins. And with finishing up this area, I'm pretty sure it's the end of the episode now. So, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment what you like about it. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.